Hi, welcome to this video guide. Today I'm going to show you how to keep your account list in Quicken for Windows organized and looking clean. Let me show you what I mean by that. First, let's take a look at the account bar. The account bar will display a list of the accounts that you have added and are currently tracking in Quicken. These range from personal to business to property to investments. But let's just say you just closed an account and no longer want to keep tracking it. But you don't want to delete it either, since it has a lot of important transaction history. Or maybe you just want to exclude it from reports. Whatever the reason is, I have a solution just for you. So let's take a look at our available options. In Quicken for Windows, you can keep your account bar organized by hiding accounts, closing accounts, and excluding accounts. For example, I have this old checking account that I haven't used in over a year. I'm really not tracking it anymore and I don't want to see the account on the list, but I don't want to delete it. I think the best option for me is to hide the account. So let's take a look at my options. The first thing you want to do is right click on the account name and then select edit delete account. A small window will come up called account details. If you did want to delete your account, you can do so by selecting delete account. I don't want to do that in mine, so I'll click on display options instead. You will now see different display options available, so let's go over them one by one so that you can better determine which ones may fit your needs. The first option is keeping accounts separate. What this does is that it separates the account from all your other accounts. Even though it still shows up in the list under separate accounts, this account will be excluded from reports and from features like spending, bills and income, and budgets. The second option is to hide in the transaction entry list. This one is pretty simple and straightforward. The account will still display in the list and you can still enter transactions by going to that account. However, this account will now be excluded as an option when creating a transfer transaction from another account or a bill or income reminder. The third option is to hide the account from the account bar and account list. That's really all this option does. If the account is connected to your bank and you use the one step update, the account will still update, just out of view. You can always revert any of these options. If you hid in the account, you can reaccess the account by going to tools, account list, and selecting show hidden accounts and then clicking on edit for the account that you have hidden. And lastly, go to display options and deselect the options. The last option we have is closing the account. What this will do is set the account balance to zero, hide the account from the transaction entry list, and disable downloading and updating this account. However, you can still run reports and view this account on the account list, unless you also choose to hide and exclude it. Once you close an account in Quicken, you cannot reopen the account. So only use this option with accounts that are actually closed. Before you close the account, you will get a confirmation page to verify that this is the action you're trying to make. Type yes and then hit OK. Lastly, we have the account intent. This option is only available to manual accounts. So you can change the type of account from spending to saving to investment. And you can also change the classification from personal business to rental property. If you have your accounts connected to your bank, your bank has already set that type of account during sync. So this option may not be available to you. So now you know how to keep your accounts bar and organized and looking clean by utilizing these features. Thanks for watching.